Eswatini human rights lawyer Tulani Maseko and uh, chairperson of the multi-stakeholder forum has been shot dead. The death of the prominent lawyer was confirmed by his wife Danele Maseko last night. We are joined uh, on the line by Justice Johan Krichler from the Centre for Human Rights. A very good afternoon to you, Judge, and thanks very much for joining us here on SABC News. Sir. Good afternoon to you, good afternoon to the viewers. Let's talk about, you know, your reaction really you know, as a legal fraternity. I'm sure there's condemnation of this uh, a killing of the human rights uh, activist and lawyer. What do you have to say? It is, first of all, of course, it's, it's very sad that a man in the, in the full bloom of his life, the father and spouse, has been killed in cold blood. Mm. But it is much more disturbing from a public point of view that... Uh, there, there can be no other reason for this man to have been shot than if he was a nuisance to a government that does not have the interests of its people at heart. That is tragic. Yeah. Well, that, what do you make of the fact that the government is saying that, uh, you know, this speculation needs to end, that they had no hand in this? Um, and in fact, I was just uh, reading a, a statement that they sent uh, of condolences uh, to the Maseko uh, family. They say that this sort of speculation needs to end. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, we, we saw that statement. We think it is cynical in the extreme. The suggestion that Lonnie Maseko was killed by anybody other than somebody acting on behalf of the current regime is just absurd. He's been a nuisance, he's been a bone in the throat, he has not kept quiet, he has fought fearlessly, ceaselessly for the human rights of the little people of Eswatini. And that has irritated the government from time to time. And now they have done something permanent about it. Yeah. Do you, do you think that uh, Sarek is doing enough to address, uh, you know, problems in uh, Eswatini? I mean, there is, you know, this uh, perception that there is no uh, tolerance for opposition. And, and, and surely for any democracy, you know, we, we shouldn't have situations where uh, there isn't uh, any kind of regard or tolerance for, for opposition. It's, 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 a, it's a tragedy. It's a wonderful little country. It has m m marvelous people. They are, anybody who has visited there, who has lived there, will speak of the generosity and the kindness and the friendliness of the uh, gender population. But uh, the regime is determined to withhold from the people the rights to which they are entitled the rights to be recognized, to be given the dignity of human beings who take their own decisions. It's an out-of-date regime with a society that is being deprived of the rights that are inherent in all human beings. Yeah. Um, what should or, or can the international community do to assist those who are perceived to be, you know, in, in criticism of the government or, or that? Um, I mean, we were talking to Professor Ibo Mandaza who said that, you know, th th there's a list really of uh, people. We don't know whether it's true or not, but the fact that there's a list of uh, people that the state has been after for a long time. How should the international community uh, intervene in this or sh should they at all? It's, you know, it's not difficult. SADC exists, it's a, a body of governments of the region that can bring tremendous political, economic, social pressure to bear on a rogue regime. The forces that are in SADC have preferred to look the other way, to make as if it doesn't exist. The fact of the matter is that the South African government and the other governments in SADC can, by the use of proper force, moral persuasion, bring change to the people of Eswatini. Right. They haven't done so. They should have done so. It is now for the legal fraternity and for the general body of civilized citizens of our region to say to the government, please force 
something upon them there by moral persuasion, if necessary, by other means more forceful than merely moral persuasion. All right, uh, Justice Krichler, thanks uh, very much uh, for that. Uh, that's uh, Judge uh, Johan Krichler uh, weighing in, of course, on uh, what's happening in uh, Sardinia at the moment, where a human rights uh, lawyer and activist has uh, been uh, shot dead.